Hey guys, Funk Roberts here. Today we're gonna use these crazy fat grip dumbbells. We're gonna use the tricep protocol, combo movements to build muscle and burn fat in 20 minutes. Let's get started. <sighs> Hey guys, Funk Roberts here, and today we're gonna go through a dumbbell triset combination workout. That's right, we're gonna take 20 minutes, we're gonna take some dumbbells, and we're going to use the metabolic protocol. Now, today, this is my workout, okay? So you're working out with me, and we're gonna use uh, two protocols. We're gonna use trisets, so we're gonna do three exercises per uh, body part, but we're also going to be using the combo movements. So those three exercises that we're gonna be doing, we're actually gonna be doing them one after the other in a combo movement. I love my combination exercises, I love my combination workouts, so I decided to combine both of these. But before we start, make sure that you, if you like these type of workouts, you wanna build muscle, you wanna burn fat, you wanna do it in a short period of time in the comfort of your own home, don't forget, hit up my app. The app is amazing, download it now the Funk Robert Shred app. You get bodyweight workouts, dumbbell workouts, kettlebell workouts, all programs, not just workouts. These are programs so you get results. All right, so how is this starting? So basically what we're gonna do, it's upper body and it's lower body. So we're going to be doing, uh, starting off with chest exercises, but, uh, uh, back and then shoulders or traps, and then we'll go to the lower body. We're doing 40 seconds of work followed by 20 seconds rest for three rounds, and then we move on to the next exercise, all right? So hopefully you've watched the warm, or you've watched the demo, or you've, and you've warmed up. We're gonna start off with neutral grip, uh, crush grip, chest press on the floor, neutral grip to wide grip. And I'm using, speaking of grips, I'm using different gripped um, dumbbells. So bear with me here, okay? And we're gonna start off, I got my 40 pounders. Oof. So we're gonna start off with 40 pounds, we're gonna do 40 seconds of work, 20 seconds rest, get on the floor. Now we're gonna start in five, four, three, two, one. Here we go. All right, this is round number one. So we've got our crush press, two, to neutral press, one, two, to wide press, one. So flies, sorry, flies, not wide press. So two, one, two, oh, geez. Okay, neutral, one, two, flies. I like doing floor flies because it allows me, oh man, one, two, one, two, because it allows me to go a little bit heavier on the floor. Okay, so we're gonna flip that because these are rounded dumbbells. They actually move around on me, right? They're moving, it's very hard to, to crush grip. So if you do have round dumbbells that are like this, I mean, if you have rubber ones, it's gonna be much easier because you can crush them, but bear with me here because these are a little bit tougher. All right, here we go. Get on the floor. Let's do the crush grip first. One, two, and then regular. And then flies. Good. Get these together. Regular. Flies. I'm gonna go back to regular. And then flies. Oh man. Woo! Yeah, those crush grips with that weight and these type of dumbbells aren't the best. So I'm just gonna do three uh, neutral grip chest presses and wide presses. Okay, not wide press, sorry. Uh, flies, and but you continue with that crush press. Again, this is the first time I'm doing this exercise uh, workout, and the first time I'm using these these crazy dumbbells. One, two, one, two, good. One, two, and they've got these wide grips too. One, shot. Exhale on the way up. One. Oh. oh man, I gotta put these down just for two seconds. Get them back up. Wow. Oh. Woo. 
man, that was tough. Very tough. All right, so let's go to bent over rows. We're gonna go wide, regular, and then reverse. Well, I'm gonna go lighter this time. I've learned my lesson. I've learned my lesson. We're coming here to the old carousel. All right, here we go. Wide, one, two, regular, one, two, reverse, one, two, good. Wide, regular, one, two, reverse, good. Wide, elbows out, regular, back by your hips, reverse, tight, tight to the body, wide, regular, reverse, oh yeah, wide, oh. Oh. today there's not going to be much talking, I'm going to coach as much as I can, but this is my workout, I'm bringing you guys inside my workout right now, so we're going to get it done, I like that, uh, that combination movement, wide, regular, and reverse, love it, all right, here we go, Number two, why? Make sure that back is straight, core is tight. Now, if you have back issues, you either want to go light or actually use a bench and do one at a time. One arm at a time. Here we go. Wide, regular, reverse. Wide, boom. And hit some rear delts too. Regular, back by the hips. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, man. This is a, a little more challenging than I expected. And I think the type of dumbbells too, with the big wide grip, really makes a difference. It makes a difference in your grip, which stimulates a little bit more muscle, specifically in the forearms. So, more potential muscle growth, but man, this is tough <laughs> too. That's why we're here. Straight back. If you're having issues like me, you may want to bend the knees a little bit more. Give yourself a nice sturdy base. Reverse. Eh, eh, woo. Eh. Oh man. Whew. Tough or what? All right, let's do some shrugs. We're gonna go even lighter because again, my forearms are taxed. We're gonna do three different styles of shrugs. I may not even be able to get the third one up, but let's see. Wide, one, two. Regular, one, two, and then we're gonna upright, upright, but not complete upright row. So here we go, wide, right on the thighs, one. Just focus on your traps doing the work. And then even when you're pulling, pull with your traps, but make sure the elbows are high. Wide. Just shrug. Ooh, man. Once again, forcing me to use lighter weight, which sometimes I don't want to, right? Sometimes I'm like, oh, I wanna go heavier, but man, if I'm getting stimulation from a little other muscles I'm not generally using, then it's perfect. So we're gonna go wide, and then we're gonna go right on your thigh, and then we're gonna pull up slightly but we're gonna pull more with our traps. So hold that wide, one. Range of motion is not that much. Here, shoulders back, and then here you're just barely bringing it up. We're not doing upright rows completely, because we don't want the shoulders to get involved. Shoulders back, oh, there it is. So even with a lighter weight, and Good, here, nice. 
Again, we're getting a little bit of stimulation on those traps there. But when you're doing these wide, right, you can see the, the range of motion is not as much as it would be if we, you know, really just had regular weights and we could really, or barbells, right? So anyways, but we're still getting work done. We're still getting work done. All right, here we go. Wide, right here, right? Boom. Uh, hitting the traps a different way. Squeeze. And then here, just slight, just slight. That's it. We don't want those shoulders to get involved too much. We just want the traps. Oh, by this time, you should feel in your traps. Like you should be feeling this. Oh, trap should be burning. Ooh, can barely lift this one up. Oh, one, two. Ooh. All right. Next up, we got suitcase squats uh, to rack squats. Okay, that's what we're gonna be doing. So I'm gonna start with 20s again, because I'm not too sure. By the way, big up to body engineers here in Toronto. So there we go. So two, one, two, clean, one, two. Good. Back down. So round number one, my upper body is totally taxed. Heel, remember, heels on the ground. Oh, jeez. I can barely even use these. Well, man. Funk's struggling with just the weights. We're gonna switch. Yeah, 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 for sure. I'll show you guys at the end what we mean by these weights. You'll see it's a little bit different. But it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter, I still gotta get it done. So we're gonna go regular squats to close squats. Switch up a bit. Here we go. One, two, step in. One, two. Back to regular. So I still want to stimulate these quad growth glutes. So we switch it up. Keep those knees together as much as you can. One, two, one, two. Speechless, without speech here. Get some oxygen in. I'm gonna go back to this round, my 20s. Should have picked it up like that. Regular squats. One, two, up. One, two, core tight, down. One, two, heels in the ground. Up, one, two, one, two, oh, yeah, one, two, oh, yeah. oh, some water. All right, we've got our lunges. Forward to reverse lunge. All right. So let's go forward. Sit in the lunge. Reverse. Sit in the lunge. Good. Step forward. One, two, reverse. Shoulders back, forward, one, two, reverse. One, two, one. <coughs> 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 
So again, we're kind of stepping forward or reversing, but sitting in that stationary lunge for, for a rep. Oh. Right, here we go. Shoulders back, step forward into a lunge. Back, control. Slight lean this time. I have that pause so I can make sure I'm set up properly. One, two, four. How you guys doing out there, you good? So, I do like that the weights are a little messed up, just because I know the next time I have sturdy weights, they're gonna probably go heavier, right? Because again, stimulating all this other stabilizer muscles have to take over here. Core, shoulders back, forward, one, two, step back. Make sure that glute is firing. One, two, Back, one, two. So I'm resetting every time. One, two. One, two. One, two. One, two. Push back. Good work. Last exercise. We're doing RDLs. Then a step back RDL. So remaining deadlift to a step back, remaining deadlift. I'm gonna go a little bit lighter here. So we're trying to hit the hamstrings now. Pure hammies and glutes. So back and step back. Romanian deadlift. Stiff legged deadlift. Staggered Romanian deadlift. Make sure it's a hip hinge first. Let those, that butt go back first. Shoulders back. You don't want to bend at the back. Oh. This war wound here. See that right there? That's what's getting the worst of it, right here. <laughs> That's what's making it very difficult. This was a complete <sighs> But again, you know, it's just challenging. But when we get, I'm here, I'm showing you guys really what's going on here. So I don't wanna hide behind anything. I wanna show you I'm struggling. Today is a struggle. Today is a struggle. <sighs> New stimulus, new struggle. That's how we grow. That's how you grow. Back, good. Remember, hip hinge first. Ooh. Let your hips go back first. Feel your hamstrings. Pull, down. Ooh. Last one, man, last one. Get that oxygen back in your body. And when I say hip hinge, I mean the hips go back first, right? So hips go back first. Your, your back doesn't go back first. You don't, roll, you don't uh, round your back. You really wanna protect that lower back, but you also wanna focus on what's doing the work, which is your glutes and your hamstrings. So here we go. Stiff legged, still gonna hip hinge. Keep your shoulders back. Go down as far as you can. Pull up. And when you're pulling up, use your hamstrings to pull you up. In your glutes. Now, hamstrings and glutes are pulling you up. Slight bend in that front knee. Ooh. Ooh. Core tight. Squeeze the glutes at the top. Here we go. Good work, okay. Now we're gonna do a finisher. Two rounds, 
of our crunch ladders. Right, crunch knee taps. That's what they're called. <laughs> Sorry guys, I got, I got flex in the back, hooking me up with this awesome exercise. We're doing a ladder, okay? So crunch knee tap ladders. So up, tap your left knee, back down. Up, left and right, back down. Ooh. Up, right, left, right, and down. So you get it, right? Right, left, right, left. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six. Down, go for seven. One, two, slight rotation. Five, six, seven, and back down. Let's go for eight. One, two, three. Keep the shoulders off the ground. Six, seven, eight, back down. Nine, okay. So you get it. Okay, I think we got it. All right, so doesn't matter which side you start. The focus is when we're up in that crunch, we really engage the abs and the obliques because we're, we have a slight rotation. Very, very good. So we're gonna do this one more time. Here we go. Let's go one, touch. Two, stay up one, and rotate. Three, one. good. Four, one, two, three, four. Back down. Five, one, two, three, four, five. Go on my count. Six, one, two, three, four, five, six, and back down. Whew, seven, up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, ooh, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, oh, hey. There we go, guys. Listen, thank you so much for being with me. Thank you so much for taking, Thank you so much for putting up with my crying and my bitching and all of that shit. But that's what we do. Sometimes we don't have the greatest workouts. Boom. But as you can see, that is a great 20 minute workout. Again, build some muscle, whatever, you know, the lift next time you know you're doing this workout, you can go a little bit heavier or lighter depending on the movement. Anyways, I'm so happy that you guys joined me. If you want more workouts like this, specifically 28 day workout programs, then grab my app. Download the app, Funk Robert Shred app. Get it today. We've got body weight programs. We've got dumbbell programs, kettlebell programs, ab workouts, everything you need, but they're programs, follow along workouts to help you get in the greatest shape of your life with the Funkster. Anyways, please like this, share this, comment. Guys, let me know. Rip me up if you have to. I'm okay. Oh yes, oh yes. And finally, these are the awesome dumbbells, but as you can see, they, they rotate. Right, so this is what's happening and they're very fat. So even these 15s feel like they're 100 pounds, 30 pounds, and they roll. So there has been, there was a little bit of a, you know, struggle, but hey, now that I know, next time I would do this workout, I do it down here, I'll get it done. Thanks so much for joining me. I love you guys. See you in the next workout, get it done. Hey, it's Funk Roberts here. Thank you so much for watching that video. I hope you liked it. In fact, I hope you loved it. And I hope you learned something from that video. Please show me some love and like this, share this, leave your comments below because you know I love that, those comments. And if you like that workout, click that button right there and it'll take you to the next workout. I'm the Funkster and I'll see you on the other side. Get it done. Ah.